guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a little bit early, I can't lie. When I say early, I do mean 8.46 in the morning. Anyways, my day hasn't started off very well. I set an alarm at 8 a.m. And let's just say I knew I would sleep through that alarm. So I woke up, slept through the alarm. Woke up at 8.27, feeling a little bit disorientated and confused. And I'm looking at my phone, I'm like, why have I not got an alarm going off? Turns out I set it for 8 p.m. Um, so I didn't even sleep through, I'm just stupid. But um, regardless, I'm up now and today is a fun day. Um, if you don't know who Jessie is, you need to watch this video because otherwise you'll be confused about why I've got a random new bay horse that isn't Bella or Johnny. But yeah, Jessie is having a bit of a makeover. She looks like a total state. She literally looks like we pulled her from the moors at the moment. Her mane is so long. Anyway, I'm a bit careful, I'm sorry, I'm talking. Her mane is so long, she's like so fluffy, it's hilarious, and her saddle doesn't really fit. Her saddle, it's been checked by a saddler, and this one was fit to her when we first got her, but she has changed shape drastically, and now every time I ride her, I basically fall off because the saddle goes too far forward. And then I'm taking her cross country school in today. So we need to fix that saddle first of all. Couldn't get a saddler out today, so we're gonna do a little bit of work by ourselves to see what works. I think it's because it's not, it needs a bit of lifting at the front. I think that's the issue, because it's like just slipping forward. There's nothing, you've got no shoulder or anything to stop it. Um, we've got a couple of other saddles. She's in a Wintech right now, um, which can't be very nice in itself, but regardless, it was the only one to fit her when we first got her. And then we have got an ideal that Rocco used to wear when he was baby, so maybe that could work. Oh my God, you scared the life out of me. Did you guys see my dad in the corner that literally just scared the life out of me? <laughs> How long was he standing there for? Oh my god, was that not really scary? Happy Halloween, guys. Um, why has my Halloween videos gone from like full blown production to my dad standing in the corner of the videos? Anyways, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so we did have a idea which we can try and fit to her, and then we've got Bella's old K2, but I doubt that'll fit because it's so forward cut. And then Rocco also has a Kenna Masters. Rocco is really tricky to fit a saddle to, so we have like multiple which were meant to be his and just didn't fit him. But that means it's good because we can try and fit one to Jess. But uh, yeah, anyways, I was meant to be out there 20 minutes ago and it's now 20 minutes later. So I I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna make a cup of tea and I'm gonna go. See you guys in a minute. Guys, it's officially turning into winter because I'm putting on the boots for the first time. Oh, that's you, look how comfy they are. Yeah, these were my shoes when I took them out to do the horses on late night checks last night. Yeah, I think it's safe to say it's a little bit too muddy out there now for me to be wearing them. So I think it's safe to say it's definitely time to switch over to the boots. But can't complain when they're this comfy and this warm. Oh yeah, they're the Aria insulated boots, um, just in case you're wondering. How are we doing, Jess? So this is Jessie before. I'd be really appreciated if you could reverse slightly so that we can get the full body shot in. Come on. Good girl. Okay, so this is Jess before. To be honest, she didn't look half bad then, so that is a bit annoying. Let's do some close-ups and we'll actually see the extent of the damage. So long forelock, long mane. On site the wrong side, there's somewhere over this side. Very dirty. Fluffy as anything, you wouldn't even believe. Apart from that, you know, she's she's a good girl. You need to clean the eyes out too. You're looking very dirty. Yeah, she says hello. Right, let's get started. I'm gonna put a time lapse up, I think. Right guys, I'm doing some important work here of arching Jess's neck away from Mum, so we can get this man. Good girl. Wow, Jessie. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look you look very cute, actually. Right, I'm gonna continue my job then, and then hopefully try out some saddles next, or pull the mane or whatever. Right, so Jessie is now all clipped. We've only given her a little bib clip, as I mentioned earlier, because you know she's not in a huge amount of work. And when I do work her, I'm working her for like 20 minutes max, like short and sweet. So she's not getting that hot, but it's just to take the edge off. Like, 
she's so fluffy as you can tell you don't want to be getting really hot and sweaty like that makes it not a very nice experience for her particularly as she's still young still i want to make sure you know she's not getting really hot and overheated so this just takes that edge off and make sure she's not going to get too sweaty um it's also a good introduction to getting clipped because also they need to be able to be clipped in their lies and that's her first time she took to it really well but if she'd been really like off with it then it's better to go in with a little bit bib clip than it would be to go in with a full body clip because she would just like it would just overwhelm her and scare her and then the next time it'd be even worse so yeah that's why we just start with a little bib clip maybe if she's in more work you know like a couple of months time or a few weeks time then we might upgrade it to a blanket or some sort i don't know but um for now this will do okay. starting on that mane before <laughs> she's so unbothered it's so cute swing your eye though sweetheart okay. Ooh, you're gonna look so smart. Aren't you Jessie? Aren't you just Jessie? So lighting's not slaying right here, but mum is doing this part because I will definitely mess it up if I was to do it. Um, but she is she's quite a little thin mane. So what we're using here is just like a little comb that more than anything cuts it. Like you can see mum's, I don't know if you can see, but she's like pressing down a button and that cuts it. So we want to keep that thickness because she hasn't got a very thick mane already and just take off some of the length because she does look a little bit feral right now. So that's just gonna hopefully smarten her up. If it was a really thick mane, like a lot of you remember that Dan, he had the world's thickest mane, like it literally was insane. And we had to pull that and use a rake on that. But we don't really like pulling because it must, must be a little bit painful. I mean, it has to be done on some of them, I guess, but when it's not necessary, like you don't 100% have to do it, then we'd rather just do this basically, which doesn't, they can't feel at all. So yeah, that's why we're using this strange little device here. Looking very nice. black from this angle. It's very shiny. Mmm, that's dotted in the hole. You like the attention, don't you, <laughs> hey? You just like the attention. Should you get a clip of me doing it, like I've done it all? No. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I want some glory. <laughs> And yeah. after last effort, Gracie. Oh yeah, for about um, when I did Johnny's last makeover. I'm not letting you near a pair of scissors. <laughs> hey Jess. What about her little forelock? You doing anything this crazy thing? Yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit. <laughs> like a little schoolboy. You do look a little bit like a schoolboy, yeah. It's very cute though, Jess. You're looking much more like a project event horse now than a feral just backed off the moors. How are you feeling about cross country school? I feel like we're kind of throwing you in it, Jess, you know? Having jumped twice before, let's just let's just give it a go, yeah? What are you thinking? Uh, very little ones, they're little, they're little logs and things, aren't they? She saw that forelock, she went for it. I don't think I'll do too much to it. Look, you make it like really blunt. She looks like she's got a fringe. <laughs> what, you want you to just cut across <laughs> like that? <laughs> That's what I did for Johnny. You looked ridiculous, but you really did. Well, she, she stopped chewing and everything there. That. Are you thinking about that one, huh? <laughs> your face needs a little brush. Your face will brush your face. Sorry if I failed on my one job. Right. How's she looking? A little less feral. So Jessie has had her little makeover finished and now we're just testing out some saddle options. Kind of struggling to be honest with you. Um, we tried on the Ideal but it didn't, it, it's too wide. So this is what she's using right now which is the Wintech. Um, but this number is really good, we used to use it on prints, those of you that remember prints. And it's like sticky kind of, so it sticks to the saddle. Sticky. Yeah, sorry, it's non-slip. So it, it, so it's non-slip and it sticks to the saddle as well as her. So theoretically it shouldn't move but I kind of noticed it was and then this little 
fluffy half pad thing. We were using the um, thin line before, which I think actually we're going to reuse. We're going to Ickworth. I'm not sure if I've vlogged at Ickworth before, um, but it's like a really good little place for babies because they have loads of little log jumps. And literally this is our third time jumping, so we can't be doing much. Just need to pop over some ditches, water, and some tiny little log fences, and hopefully not have the saddle slip forward too much in the process. Jesse, you ready? How are you feeling? How are you feeling to be in your first vlog as well? Is it exciting? <laughs> Why are you so cute? Oh God, oh God, don't do that, because I need to sell you. Please don't do that. I can't fall in love with another one and keep them for longer. <sighs> you know, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this producing and selling business, because what if I just end up keeping her another two years? I can't, I, can't, I actually can't. She's just gonna be for sale soonish. Um, that makes me sad. Um, but anyway, yeah. Come on, Jess. Let's get you in this trailer. She's actually never travelled. Well, she's travelled once in our trailer before when we picked her up because we picked her up halfway because they stopped like on the service station and we went and picked her up from there. But I think she was so shell shocked by the journey from Ireland that she just like loaded with no, no issues. So we'll see if it's going to be the same now. Hopefully. I mean, she's so chilled out by everything else. I'm not sure why this would bother her, but I mean, let's touch wood anyway. That's my cup of tea. Right. Okay. Let's go. I promise. Yeah? Okay, we're all exited out of the trailer. Very beautiful. She's actually been very good and relaxed, to be fair. Because it's quite a big, you know, quite a big thing for her to be out here. Very nice, Jess. And beautiful. A bit sweaty unfortunately from the rug um it's a bit hot in there but no she's been very chilled out first time having boots on as well really is a day of firsts okay you guys i've just got changed i'm ready to go out and get on jess mum's just tacked her up i don't know if you'll be able to see out the window can you see the saddle yeah so she's tacked up but i'm gonna go out there and leave my camera in here now so this is the last you'll see me before i'm back from um back from the schooling session hopefully it goes well we're just keeping it really nice and small i'll talk more when we're finished but literally just to pop over some tiny little like logs and ditches like really just simple things just introducing her to cross country because this is her first real time doing it she's still really unbalanced and has a lot more schooling to do before she's ready to do anything serious so but it's just kind of the ch a chance to gauge where we're at and hopefully just get her some experience in the big wide world first ever outing as well like so many firsts today so um, yeah, I'll see you guys after. Hopefully it goes well. And yeah, enjoy the clips.
You should see the fat legs, they're going so wide. This moment he knew he f***ed up. Okay, so we just got back from our session. Jessie is very happy. She absolutely loves cross country. I think it's literally her favorite thing in the entire world. But unfortunately, a bit of a frustrating one because the saddle just, oh, you know, I don't think that number worked or she got like too sweaty and it just slipped anyway. But like, I mean, you saw you saw in the videos, it just slipped right onto her neck, which is not ideal at all. And obviously we don't want to be doing that if it's gonna like, you know, hurt her or anything or just restrict her in any way. So. Basically, we spent most of the session getting on and getting off again to put the saddle back because that was the only way I could really jump. I didn't want to keep jumping when it was so far up her neck. So, yeah, a bit frustrating, but, you know, 
I guess it was kind of worth it because we came, we did ditches, we did banks, we did water. She had a little bit of a hack, she jumped some fences. As you saw, she's not phased by fences or literally anything at all. Like she's so, so bold and she does adore it, which is really nice. Obviously we have a little bit of issue with steering still and head going up and like a bit of bronchiness, but I'm thinking the bronching was coming from the saddle because it only really started when the saddle was too far forward and the head thing, it'll get better with time. I just wasn't really focusing on it that much because I was so worried about the saddle, but it will come and she's got the attitude and actually, you know, you couldn't have really asked much more from her today. So very good girl, very pleased with her. Um, we're gonna pop her in the trailer and head home because I've got to get home. So sorry, a bit of a rushed end to the vlog, but I'll see you guys when we're in the trailer for final goodbyes. All right guys, that's the end of the vlog then. We've just um, loaded Jess up and we're on our way home now. See ya in there. She traveled really well, considering this is literally like her second time ever in this lorry and the first time was, I keep saying trailer and it's a lorry. I just like forget because we have the old trailer obviously. And the first time was obviously when we picked her up, so she was a bit shell-shocked. She went straight up again when we loaded her back, so that's really good. She has just got the best attitude. I absolutely love her. Um, so, although it wasn't lots of jumping today, it was still really educational for her and definitely beneficial. would have really helped her and just, like, given her a good starting base. When we go out next time, we have a sorted out saddle and everything. She'll be able to just crack on and hopefully, you know, really feel much more confident than she did before she went out today. So, very positive good starting for her and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog hope you enjoyed seeing her be all smart enough and everything too you can't really tell she's even clipped to be honest because she's so dark but at least she felt a little less hot even though she still got so sweaty bless her um but yeah if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week in the next video hi guys so um i'm just editing this video and i thought i'd add a little bit at the end because actually we did manage to get the saddler out yesterday and she confirmed that Jess had really, really changed shape, as you can see by this diagram. So the blue line is her shape from when the Saddler first came out, which was the middle of August, and then the red line is from yesterday. Um, it looks like from this diagram that the right-hand side now is much higher than the left um, because there's such a big difference between the, diff the change in the right and the left, but actually she's much more even now. That first blue line, the bottom one, it shows that her right hand side, the muscles were really underdeveloped because it was much lower than the left hand side. Um, however, now she's much more even. That red line is much more of a smooth, continuous line. Um, and that shows that her muscles are developing correctly. The right hand side has had to muscle up more than the left, but she's much more even over her back now, which is why the saddle, the Wintech, just was not fitting her at all. It wouldn't have been causing her any pain, but it just wasn't the right shape for her. And that was why it was slipping forward. And that would explain the bronching as well, because it was right going onto her shoulders and she just was getting unbalanced. So we had a look at some other saddles. And by some miracle, the gods were shining down on me. Bella's old K3 fits Jessie perfectly. Like literally, the saddler put the K3 on and was like, oh my God, this is a perfect fit. Obviously, it's a very forward cut jump saddle, so it's not ideal for dressage, but beggars can't be choosers at this point. I'm taking that win there. We're going to be using that K3. It fits her well. It doesn't slip forward so much. It still slips forward a little bit, but that's not because of the fit. It's because Jess's girth groove is really far forward. Um, and that might be just the way she's developing. Like she's still, she's really bum high. She's still got a lot of maturing to do and that might sort itself out. But that's why another reason the saddle slips forward slightly but it won't be too far forward with this K3 because it fits her well otherwise. Um, but yeah, that's all sorted now so we can crack on. I'm so glad that K3 fits her and we can just crack on. I haven't got to drop a small fortune on a new saddle. So yeah, big win there. Anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.